So what I'm going to do now is a series of tests for the anion part of a compound. So these are all the negatively charged ions. And the ones that you need to know about are carbonate ions, sulfate ions, and halide ions. So that means chloride, bromide, and iodide. So there's several that we need to test. And I'm going to try the carbonate ion test first of all. Now carbonates, we know from our acids and salts topic, carbonates react with acids to make salt and water and carbon dioxide. So we've seen carbonates fizzing in acid, and that's how we're going to test for them here. So I'm just getting a small sample of my carbonate. I'm going to put it into a test tube, and I'm going to add some acid to it, and I expect that I'll see it fizzing as it produces carbon dioxide. But I don't know it's carbon dioxide until I've proved. So I've got the second test tube here ready. That's got some lime water in it. And what I'm going to do is to try to get any carbon dioxide that forms down here in this tube over into this tube. Now there's two ways that I could do that. I could have corks in here and a delivery tube um, and use a bit more equipment. But I'm actually going to do a kind of cheat method that's quite quick. I think you did it before when we did the salts and acids um, work anyway. Because I know that carbon dioxide is quite a dense gas, so I know it's going to stay down in the bottom of that tube. So I'm going to use my dropper to suck up any carbon dioxide that forms and squirt it out through my lime water. I'm hoping that my lime water will go cloudy and that will be evidence that I've got carbon dioxide, which is in turn evidence that this solid in here must have been a carbonate. So I'm going to add some acid to my carbonate. And sure enough, it's fizzing. Now, I don't need to panic about this. I've got plenty of time because the carbon dioxide that's forming, or what I suspect is carbon dioxide that's forming, is going to stay down in the bottom of that tube, as I said before, because it's quite a dense gas. So I've got plenty of time to let that fizz away, generate lots and lots of gas, and then when it calms down, I'm going to start... Oops. I'm going to start collecting the gas that forms. So I'm sucking up in the area where the bubbles were and I'm going to blow it out through that lime water. And I think you can see, especially as I'm wearing a dark top today, that that's going cloudy in the lime water. So that's really conclusive proof that the gas that formed there was carbon dioxide which means the solid that I had in there definitely was a carbonate. 